Welcome to another round of price check. We've got looking at some carnival glass today. This is something uh, it's not my taste per se, but when prices are like this, I, it's worth paying attention to. And obviously, you know, you're going to be hard pressed to find one of these higher value pieces. Um, but the nice thing here is there is volume to be sold and volume to be had certainly worth paying attention to the fact that you know if you go even five pages in on ebay you're still not under a hundred dollars in uh, sale price so you, you get there right here so worth paying attention to carnival glass uh, it is a early 20th century phenomena uh, it's a couple of different companies uh I always taught it that True Carnival Glass was uh, Indiana Glass Company, um, but I I don't know. Looking through these prices, it looks like there's a lot of different variants that are doing well, and price is king. So, but generally, you get this kind of. Uh, you know, rainbow effect it almost looks it's almost like a oily oily color explosion and it's usually it's it's going to be always glass it's molded glass so you'll be able to see seams and but good pricing so here we've got the greek key style i think this is actually rather the design on here is, is rather good uh, $726 for this set this is something you know I could see you finding at an estate sale for you know hundred hundred fifty dollars good to know it's worth 760 or can sell for 760 we do sold price sold prices for a reason winning bid three thousand five hundred that just is not my taste at all but 31 bids where did we start winning bid $350 that's a big difference what did I how did I see that as $3,500 $350 starts $9.99 somebody knows what they're doing $144 not $1,444 let's see just an outdoor picture Nice little piece. You know, this is the stuff that's like sat in homes for 20 or 30 years because it was, you know, when it was really fashionable 20, 25, 30 years ago, people were paying high prices for this stuff. So they really tended to hold on to it. And it's also a pain in the ass because now people think that it's still worth those high prices. So you might actually have some trouble with some items at estate sales, see more of this Greek key pattern. Because um, people are going to price them out of being resellable. Like here we've got, where's that? Pulled it up. It's, it's a great example here. Um, so back, probably about 10 years ago now, uh, I bought this alone. I think I paid. I think I got it for $15. And I sold it for sixty or seventy dollars, and that is just how how things were going. And I mean, when I say this stuff is down in price, like it's it's down in price. There used to be books printed on Indiana art glass and carnival glass, and this stuff was hot commodity, but. Though it has fallen, still worth paying attention to. You know, you find a piece of, find a nice piece at a thrift shop. Yeah, you might see some good return. It's at least worth knowing what it is. So, 